and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Dollar Bill. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a player. and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Big kick. Shots landing on both sides here. Yeah. 
sound defensively blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right on the elbow. Body kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Kick to the body by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Nice. Nice. And they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. He's got to whip his hips into that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's a hand. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And they separate. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice. Nice. Pretty good right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, that's the quick score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at the turnover in that kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing that type of intensity. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Taking a lot of damage to the body. You need to keep your elbows in. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lee gets hit with a kick. 
Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Tags him with the left hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Liver kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh. oh, that kick is good by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. Watch the shot. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Next with a right. Just missing on the counter there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice loop and punch. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He bumbled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Try to establish that jab. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice head kick. Oh, big punch land. Stuffs the takedown. No props. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful hit. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Just misses with that big right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, tags him with that funny left again. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Lance flush with that right hand. Hey, stop. Right now, we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, Unbelievable strike. Your cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning we did in the gym. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game. And I would put
put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Plus right hand is true. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That's a big strike right there. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another big leg kick land. That knee attempt is blocked. Big leg kick lands. Missed with that attempt. You don't know when that leg kick comes. Hands to the body there. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice jab. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Wow. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, what a punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice head kick. Nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, beautiful level change. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lynch. Oh, nice right hand. And he's back up. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Powerful leg kick lands. Hey. Nice body. Set up that low kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. And there comes the separation now. Big leg kick lands. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his speed or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Real quick leg kick. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Big kick lands. How about that chin? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just missed with the straight left hand. Sneaky head kick. What a punch. Straight right hand now, just misses. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Can't take many of those, better check. The right hook to the body. Caught that kick there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Visibly limping here. Shot to the body now blocked by Lynch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. 15 seconds. Nice punch lands over the top. Big body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. This is the strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough 
his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Took a little bit of a beating that round. That's all right. That's what he trained for. That was his best shots. He took them no problem. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this. This, this is the best head kick you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Real slow body kick. the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. It's such a fast leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Back and forth we go here. That's a good counter there. The straight punch lands by Lee. Let's get Drops that kick to the body. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Lands with a right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right punches there. Still nice body punch land. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at the force behind that leg kick. That punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Double leg takedown. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Throws the right hand there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Fixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. That was a thudding leg kick. And they separate. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee.
lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice kick. Able to check the high kick. On that leg kick. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Fight. Yep. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Good punch, man. Just misses with the left hook. Big kick lands. Slips the punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Liver kick. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Good one. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. All right, he engages in a single collar guy here. Muay Thai flop. Straight right, he misses. Nice strike. Big body kick lands. Body kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, rips the body shot there. Big kick. Leg kick. Kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, that's a nice one. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range soon. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. A single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful body kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Misses is again with a right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. That right hand landed. Nice 
nice body kick right on the elbow. Couple nice body shots there. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. A big punch land. Boom. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the clinch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie reach back inside and try to find space. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. That punch no good. 15 seconds to go. Nice leg kick. him with the strength. Nice job there by Lee. Boom! Body kick right there. Landed perfect. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 39-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Dollar Bill. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight, and he gets the dominant decision.